Hello there and welcome to my channel. Today I'll show you around my art studio. I'm very thankful for the space to create my art and feel inspired. Hey there, welcome to my art studio. I am really, really excited to show you around. So let's get to it. So here is my art studio. And this is a bedroom in my house. And I am very, very blessed and thankful that I have a space. It's definitely not perfect and it's not like straight out of Ikea, but I am very happy to be here and create in this space. So let's start over here and work our way all the way around. So over here I have some cork boards that I haven't really used. I really should um, put, put up some artwork and photos that inspire me, but right now it just has my calendar and some sweet notes from people. And behind my door I have my easel that I use for oil painting and some rags <laughs> for oil painting. And this board I use a lot to paint on. And here is Leo sleeping on my chair. So. I have a blanket on my chair because he will tear up the cushion with his nails. <laughs> and this chair is actually, it was actually my grandma's chair and she passed away. And so it was one of the items that I really wanted to keep of hers because she had this chair in her bedroom and I don't know, I just, I feel like she is kind of here with me sometimes when I and making art because she was an artist herself. Anyways, let's move on. Here is my library card catalog that I have art supplies in. So let's go see what's inside. So on top of here, I have my palettes for oil painting and they're glass palettes. There's some old jars that I use for Gimsel and my oil painting brushes. And in here are my oil painting mediums. So I have Gal Kit, I have Gal Kit Gel, Gamsol, I have Neo Megalp, Linseed Oil, and some kind of acrylic medium that I hardly ever use. <laughs> and this is varnish for oil painting, and I have my brush cleaner, and this is stuff for gold and silver leaf. So yeah, I won't get into that, but yeah, I have gold and silver leaf for oil painting and sometimes I use it for watercolor. Here are some oil paints inside this um, drawer are reds and pinks, which <laughs> I don't really use Windsor Newton very much anymore um, and I still have like a huge tube from college from like 10 years ago that I still haven't used. And in here are some more oil paints. These are like really cheap oil paints that I don't really use anymore. I try to organize my paints a little bit. In this drawer are like greens and blues. And here are yellows and oranges. And here is white oil paints. And here are some, these are some new oil paints that I haven't tried yet. Yeah, just some more oil paint. <laughs> This is a drawer with random stuff like scissors, rulers, pins. This drawer has my varnish jar, so this has varnish in it, and my varnishing brushes. Here we have acrylic paints. Uh, these are oil paints, and they're part of a beginner oil painting set. And these pull out which is really cool. So when I'm actually working on an oil painting, I use these a lot. And I put my easel like right here. Here's a little drawer organizer. And if you haven't watched my studio organization um, vlog, then I'll link that in the description and in the card above. And I went to Ikea and I bought some stuff to get organized. I bought this pegboard and this drawer organizer and the shelf here and then I also bought that shelf up there so um, if you're interested I'll link that in the description 
Oh, I also bought that wood thing too. Anyways, I'll show you what's in these drawers. So this is a box of hazardous materials from oil painting that I need to take to a hazardous waste site that I just haven't yet. And here I have some gesso boards and I have some round wood panels and I have these wood slices. And here I have some brushes, my sketchbook, and I have some transfer paper that I use a lot from Arteza. And then I have some colored pencils and markers. And here are some packing supplies that um, that are like large packing supplies that won't, won't really fit anywhere else. So I have some um, of this stuff that I want to reuse, some cardboard, and huge envelopes, and um, biodegra biodegradable clear sleeves. This is an oil painting that I probably will never finish. And then here are some printing paper. All right, and here is the area where I package orders. And I also do a few other things, but I don't really paint here. This is kind of just packing orders area. I have some finished artwork that's hanging up. The sketchbook here I use for watercolors. And these stickers are brand new. I actually just got them a few days ago. So um, they're out because I need to take photos of them for my shop update. And this is a print. It's embellished with gold paint. And now I'll show you what's in here. Oh, is there anything in here? There's just some random stickers in here that have blemishes on them that I might um, put on sale or just, I don't know, keep myself. Inside here are business cards. Here are some freebie stickers I have for orders. And I also use these to um, package up my orders too. And I have some washi tape. By the way, these paper moths and butterflies are from what, what is it called? Moth and Myth. If, in case you're wondering. And here are envelopes I use for sticker orders. And in here are all of my vinyl stickers. And I try to organize them. I try to find a good way to organize my stickers, but um, this works. It's just not that, I don't know, sometimes they fall out and stuff, but. And in here are my thank you cards I use for orders, and I have stamps, and I have tissue paper for sticker orders. Well, let's see what's in these drawers. I don't even remember what's in some of these. Okay, in here is all scrap watercolor paper, and I have some sketchbooks and some random business cards. So, um, yeah, I really need to find something to do with all these scraps of watercolor paper. Um, these are for like tags for orders that I haven't used for a while. I have like a little board, some watercolor paper. This is a really cool envelope that came with an, an order. Um, it's just really pretty. I don't really know what to do with it. Canvas paper, some old stickers that didn't really turn out that I need to throw away. These are little round stickers that I used to package my orders with and I use this puncher thing to punch out those stickers. I have some address labels. And here are some watercolor paintings and oil paintings and some prints.
All right, let's move over here. So this table here, this is where I do basically all of my watercolor painting. My husband, Jimmy, bought this like wood butcher's block and then he put it on top of some, on top of two dressers that I've had that are like really old. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's kind of like my desk that I, I use for painting, for watercolor painting. These rugs, I have a blade that's wrapped up that I use to scrape my palette and I have a jar of um, oil painting scrapings. And in here are like sketch, like sketching stuff like charcoal and pencils. In this drawer, I have a lot of like framing stuff um, and some tools, stuff like that. And here I have gesso and I have watercolor grounds and some old palettes, sandpaper. And then I have this cart. I bought this cart at Target. And the top, well the, the two bottom drawers, I don't really use that much. But this top one I have basically all of my like watercolor supplies I use all the time. And it's very disorganized as you can tell. Um, but I have this that has all of my watercolor brushes. Yeah, I'm very disorganized as you can see. And now we are here. This one I probably won't open up. It has just a bunch of packing supplies like bubble wrap I want to reuse and stuff like that. Oh, there's hardly anything in here. I think these are necklaces. Yeah. I have, I think, two or three of these necklaces left. They're like little oil paintings inside a, a glass locket. And in this container, I have all of my cards, and I have that card sale sign on the front because I took this bin to a market. And yeah, it's just all of my cards. So yeah, um, my card sale is still going on too until I sell out. And then in here, I have two bins that are full of 8x10 prints. Oh wait, I only have one bin, but I have another one somewhere else. But I take these to markets, so I just keep all of my prints in here after the market. And yeah, they're just 8x10 prints. Down here are all of my, it's like all my watercolor paper. And here are some packing supplies. I have some cardboard backings for prints and paintings. I have biodegradable plastic sleeves. I have envelopes and some tissue paper. And this, this cutter thing. I have some envelopes and little boxes and some fragile and do not bend tape. And here I have some 5x7 prints and some 5x7 paintings. And <laughs> I have these clips on because I take this to markets and I just, um, I have like a little grid display and so I just hang them on the display by the clips, if that makes sense. That's why they're on there. And in here are some really old ornaments that I've never sold. And here I have a shelf that's from Ikea with a mushroom book and mushroom painting. <laughs> I just hung this up like a week ago so I haven't really figured out what I want to put on it but I'm thinking books and maybe a plant. Okay, let's move on to this closet. 
I have a lot of packing supplies that I want to reuse that I get from online orders so that's what all that is and I have two tripods obviously it's like super messy in here <laughs> I have two wood panels and in here I have some 11 by 14 prints back there in the dark closet area <laughs> I have some frames I probably won't show you everything in here but I have some wood panels and some canvas paper which is here and yeah it's nothing too exciting it's just full of junk and uninteresting things <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this studio tour. If you haven't yet checked out my studio tour from last year, I will link it in the description below. Feel free to subscribe to my channel for more art related videos and I will see you in the next video. And be sure to check out one of these videos over here if you would like to watch one of them next. Bye!